In our Connect to Congress interview this week, we spoke with Congressman Filimon Vela on a number of issues via satellite from Washington, D.C. That includes the recent resignation of National Security Advisor Michael Flynn after he had conversations with Russian officials before Trump ever took office and then lying about it to Vice President Mike Pence. There are Democrats, of course, and there are some Republicans that are asking for a full investigation, but there are some Republicans who say that the intelligence breach to the media is the bigger issue. What's your thoughts? Well, I, I disagree with that. I think uh, Congress deserves to get to the bottom of this and we need a full bipartisan investigation uh, to uh, find out exactly what happened. President Trump says that Mexico is taking advantage of the U.S. when it comes to NAFTA. Do you agree? Um, I, I, I don't agree. I think the, the fact is, is NAFTA is a very complex agreement. Um, there has been a great deal of business interaction between businesses on both sides of the border. And I think any changes um, to that regulatory scheme uh, is going to have consequences. And before you make those changes, you just have to know what those consequences might be. Congressman Vela had this to say about President Trump's travel ban, which has been put on hold by several federal judges. It goes so far as to suggest that uh, anybody who's been charged with a crime, not convicted, not even resolved, uh, should be a priority for deportation. We have a radical departure uh, in, our, in our enforcement policies. Uh, we have a, a, a obliteration of the due process clause of the Constitution. And uh, we, are, we are in uh, very dangerous territory when it comes uh, to those sorts of things. And, um, you know, we're going to do everything in our power uh, to repel uh, this constitutional abuse. And Congressman Vela will, along with Congressman Vicente Gonzalez, will host an immigration roundtable with visiting members of Congress. It will be held next Monday, February 20th at the Lupa Building in San Juan.